Yo guys, we are the first story building ever built in the whole of Nigeria. Right there. This is the first story building ever built in anywhere in Nigeria. It was originally built by Anglican Communion, Diocese of Badagri, yeah? The best way to find answers to our question is by going inside to gain more information regarding this place. To the upstairs. Okay, even, though, even, though, even though on the floor. So yes, on. yes. This one you are, you are seeing on the floor. Okay, how, how about the cement? They, it was later used to cover it. To cover it. Then did it did they say no? Or? No, it was, it was later done by the by our people here. Okay. Right now, here at, is the first place where Christmas was ever celebrated in the now known Nigeria. Many histories to learn from here, many stories I will tell you in these videos, but I want to ask you, is it really the first story building ever built in the now known Nigeria? A question I will leave you to answer in the comment section. Now let's explore the history behind the declared first story building in Nigeria. This is the cost estimate that was used to be the story building, 325 pounds was used to build the story building according to the C. A. Goma. That was the account that he gave. And here we have a initial drawing uh, of the first story building premises. That's the table I can see, the first story building yeah. premises. This is the architectural uh, design. Uh, yes. No, this one is just, this one is garden. This one is rice garden and vegetable garden. Now in the middle, look, let's go to this side here. Okay, I've seen here. Yeah, come to this side, come, let's, we'll see clearly here. Yeah, come here. This is the map. Okay. Now here we have the post building in the middle. Yeah. Now here we have the church. This is the church over here. Okay. Now these ones are garden. And this is the whole map of what we can see in the purpose of the first story building yeah. as at 1843. This building was constructed by the first European Christian missionaries that came to Nigeria. Wow. Now the Bible says that I am the way, yeah. the truth, yeah. and the life. That yeah. was Jesus Christ told us. Yeah. That he is the only way. Yeah. Now, if somebody said I'm the way, yeah. And you know the way. Yeah, it's recording. It's recording. Yeah. That I'm the way, and you are following the way. Yeah. You, you have light. Okay. You have the light. Okay. That's why the missionary that came to Badagri, yeah. they don't, it's not that they, they enslave us, yeah. but they let us know that this is light. Okay, sir. Last question. What makes their religion right and make ours wrong? It's not wrong. Because obviously they came to us and said, What you're practicing is not right, mm. and this is the way. What proof the fact that theirs is right, ours is wrong? You know, you are, you are, you are pioneering, <laughs> like you are a champion of the, of, of the best religion. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, uh, yeah. it's not that I'm going against the, the tradition. Yeah. Because some, some of our forefathers, our forefathers yeah. that are what they believe. Yeah. And some are still doing it till today. Yeah. Now, there is one, uh, when I was in seminary, one of our lecturers, the math teacher said, uh, African tradition religion. Yeah. And the man said, which I still remember very well, that our forefathers then, yeah. if you, you stand here, yes. or you sit down here today, yeah. he yeah. cannot come out there yeah. and sit down. Yeah. Because yeah. he believed that it is a taboo. Yeah. He believed that it's a taboo. Yeah. That if you sit down there, yeah. you have already offended the gods. Okay. You understand that now? Yeah. Now, likewise, the Bible. Likewise, what the Christian. Like what did now, Christianity. I, I, I'm sorry, I want the connection because right here is I, 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 I will say this place represents slavery. Yeah. So why is it that it's still in this same place that we have Christianity? Like, what is the connection? Well, Christianity started from here, from Malagri here. Yeah. Now they came. The missionary came here to preach the gospel. Okay. To bring freedom. They are not here for slavery. Okay. But they are here for freedom. Yeah. That's why when they came, when Thomas Bar Freeman came in 1842, yeah. he preached the gospel under that tree, under that gear tree mm. in September 24, 1842. Yeah. Now he brings people to Christ. Yeah. Now, when after the same year, 1842, why in December 1842, the first Christmas also was celebrated under the same tree that I show you inside. Yes. Now they did not come here, they are not here for slavery, yeah. but they are here for freedom, yeah. to preach the gospel. You know, that, 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 that this argument, are we in our circle now? Yes. That the same people that brought Christianity, that the same people <laughs> that came to took Yes, even what you said now, some people yeah. also have asked the same question. Yeah. But I, I, I always tell them that no. Okay. That this one, this, 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 this one were missionaries. Like? Because, but I did them, yeah. 
what they do in Benagri Den, what they worship because we, we the Benagri Den is for idol worshippers. No it, Christianity. It's an African thing. Yes, Afri African, African religion. religions. Yeah. That was what they do there in Benagri. Yeah. No Christianity in Benagri. Yeah. But they came, the missionary came yeah. to preach that gospel. Yeah. They are not here for slavery. Okay. But they are here. Yeah. To set people free, okay. To let them know the light, okay. Sorry, I also have a, a question. Uh, this question is for me, okay. Right, like I believe I've like, been a Christian, like all my life I've been a Christian, okay. And all I've read in the Bible is about the Jews, okay, the Israel, okay, and all that, okay. And I want to believe Africa, we are, we are, we are Africans, okay. And we, I've been here, same way the. Jews has been on, the, on their own. Uh, okay. Like we've, we've been existing okay. same way the, the Jews have been existing before. Okay. So why is it that when like everything about the Bible is all about their religion? Like everything, every, every, every event that took place in the Bible, almost every, every event is it, like they're connected to those Europeans. Are you getting me? Then we're not accepting it as our thing. Like it's not a thing that we all call this a belief. What happened to our story? What, what happened to, to Africans? Like why is it that African Af African culture is now called idol, like because we have people we have, we have great men who made history. Okay. Yeah. So why is it that Africans are now like when we hear Africans they say idol, just like you, you, you said. Yeah. But this story, this people here is a story, is a history that they have painted as. Okay. I I understand a question. Yeah. See, in the Bible there was idol also also worshippers in the Bible too. Okay. But when. Christ came. Yeah. Christ said, I've not come to destroy the law, yeah. but to make the law fulfilled. Okay. Now, when the missionary came to Badagri, yeah. they saw us yeah. that people, oh, these people were not having Christ. Okay. Although they give us their own religion. Yeah. Though at least to bring us something. Yeah. That oh, this thing you are doing. Or this you are worshipping. Yeah. Unfortunately, I lost some of the clip while recording. This is just the beginning of the story. Now, let's go inside the building to learn the history behind the first story building in Nigeria. So guys, we're going in right now to the first ever story building ever built in Nigeria. Wow! Guys, mm -hmm. look at the design. So, we are going to meet the Reverend in charge to take us around and show us the real history behind the story building. Look at the interiors and everything. Sir, bro, come now. Sir, you got some, sir. I'm OZ. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Can I put this on you, sir? Okay. Okay. Thank are? you very much. My name is Reverend Samuel uh, from Aklikan Diocese of Madagri, Aklikan Church. Now, here we are, first story building. This story building was built by the missionaries. Uh, since 1842, 2045. 1842. 2045. Wow. Now, this is the temporary mission house that was built with African native wooded planks as a temporary a story building by Reverend Henry Townsend. In this same ground here? This, yeah, this same ground that we are. Now, there's a young man called Reverend Henry Th uh, Thomas Bafima who arrived here in September 1842 to sow the seed of Christianity in Nigeria. When the CMS, the Church Missionary Society, when they saw the actions of these, uh, these young people, now they sent a young man called Reverend Henry Townsend to Badagri. He was 26 years old. A white man then? Yes, a white man as a missionary. Now he also joined to Badagri and Nabekuta. Now his action, his mission was to collect information about the country. Now when he got to Badagri here, he went to go and meet the chiefs of Badagri, Chief Pardon Mobi and Chief... Uh, Wow, and he arrived on that year 17 December 1842 and joined uh, Thomas Bafrima in observing the first Christmas here in Badagri. Wow, to let you know that Christianity started from Badagri here and the first Christmas also started here in Badagri. The first Christmas in, in Africa, in, in Africa, here in Badagri, everything was started from Badagri here. I, I don't get like the first Christmas in Africa, if uh, here in Badagri, it was started here in Badagri. Wow, now after that, he uh, Townsend. So he uh, saw the necessity of a mission house and also the church to build. And he went to go meet the chiefs of Badagri then, and yeah. they give them the land to build this yeah. story building that we are. Now, in 1843, Townsend now the foundation of the temporary mission house and also a church. Having done that, an information was sent to Syria alone for more 
workforce. Then after that, by the approval of his request, the original immigrant was sent to him he, to Townsend. You white man too. Yes. Okay. And after that, we have that. After the 59 immigrant, we have Reverend Mrs. Samad Crowder mm -hmm. and the children. We have Reverend Mrs. C. A. Goma. That Goma was in charge of the construction of the story building. This particular this, yes, because this particular building. Now we have Mr. March, who was the cat case. We have Reverend SS Weberfall. We have Mr. Claudius Phillips, who were the school masters. All white men. All of them were missionaries. Okay. And we have Mr. Willoughby with his family, four capitals, three brothers, and two servants. All together, we are 59 in number. Yeah. We including the slave that also worked with them. Now, after moreover, after the completion of the third private mission house, yeah. town sent and the crowd that having spent 18 months yeah. here in Badagri, mm. that they journeyed to Abekuta. Now, just like his predecessor, Reverend C.A. Goma also went to go and meet with Chief Wawu and Chief Padon Mobi to review his plans to them that they want to build a permanent structure on the line that was allocated to the CMS. Okay. And don't, don't forget that this is just a temporary building. building. And in, in, immediately, mm. C.A. Goma proceeded by working out the process. Now, by 5th June 1845, the private structure was constructed to replace the temporary wooden structure. Mm. Now, after the arrival of a town saint, uh, okay, let me show you the bricks that was used to bring to the materials that was used to build this story building. Okay. Here we have the bond bricks. That's the bond bricks that was used for the foundation down to the upstairs. Okay, even, even, even on the floor as well. Yes, yes, this one you are, you are seeing on the floor. Okay, how, how about the cement? They, it was later used to cover it. To cover it. Then did it they, they, they say no, for... No, it was, it was later done by, the, by our people here. Okay. Now, look at this. This is the inches. On, on the doors? Yes. This one was used on the doors. Okay. To tack all the doors in this story building. Okay. You can see, since 1842, it's still strong till now. Oh, look at the metal. It's still strong till now. Now, here we have the planks. Look at these planks. Since 1842, this one was used as a decking for the roofing. Oh, I know. Uh, bro, look at it is, the decking is wooden. It's, it's a wood, wooden structure, wooden uh, planks. Wow. And since 1842, this thing, the wood has been here. And since then, no termite have been tied. 1842. 1842. And like, it's still strong now. Like the wood, was it coming from, uh, from, from, it's from, from, from Africa here? From Africa. Africa. Yes, yeah, from Africa here. Wow. Now, here we have the iron. Yeah, the zinc. Since 1842, it has been here since 1842. Oh, see quality now. Look at quality. Look at quality. 1842. 1842. Uh, how many years now? Almost. 182 years. 182 years. Now here we have the nails. Look at the nails also that was used for the roofing. Can you look at? See how thick this nails. Wait, this is new. Yes. Oh, this is boat now. That one is cool. Oh, this is cool, yeah. Wow. Look at the big quality. Now, all these things we are seeing today were being imported from England. Mm. They were imported from England. Now, after the arrival of a town in Abekuta, he received broken news about the death of Shif Shodeke. Shif Shodeke was the man who was the parent ruler in Abekuta then. Yeah. The man died. And it was a big shock and disappointment of our mission here on the land, Townsend comments. Hmm. And Townsend returned to Balagri without delay to extend the message to other missionaries here in Balagri. Once again, you're going to first to building. My name is Reverend Samuel Akwema. All right. Now let's go to the next room. Okay. Now here we have, look at the full of the zinc iron corrugated sheet it's still, since it's 1842. So can you carry it to see the heavy sir? <sighs> to show your viewers how heavy it is. How is it heavy? Ah. Guys, this is heavy. Like, I'm not telling you, for, for, this is very heavy. Like, this is as heavy as a full bundle zinc now. <laughs> I swear. Now, let's go to the side here. Now, let's go to the right side. Now, there is a story called Agia tree. What's that? Okay. A story called Agia tree. Agia tree. Yes. On this tree, Christianity was first pro uh, proclaimed in Nigeria by Reverend. Thomas Bas Frima in September 1842. Hmm. And 
the first Christmas also was celebrated under the, the same tree in December 1842. Oh, here in Badagri. Now, to let you know that Christianity in Nigeria today will be 182 years. 100. Why? Yes. Why Christmas in Badagri today, in Nigeria today as a whole, it will be 182 years. Hmm. There was a real Christmas in Nigeria. Now, this tree that you are seeing, the picture today, the tree lasted for 350 years. 350 years. That was the year the tree was standing. This particular tree? Yeah. Yes. And by June at 20, 1959, the tree fell down. Oh. Now this is the monument of the tree that oh. shows us that is a tree here called Agia tree. Here in Badagri. Oh. Now here we have again, you can see Christmas in Badagri, 1923. A Christmas photograph of the staff of the African Oil North Company, Amila Brothers at Badagri in Nigeria. At 19, at 23, Mr. and Mrs. Basleda of Mila Brothers a Liverpool based company are seated. You can see them sitting on the, on the seat, okay. putting on white. Oh. Yes, where are the bad that you see? Where are the bad that you see? The, their staff, also their slave. Yeah. And they wrote on them, Mary Hesmas. Oh, like, okay, they wrote on the slaves. Yes, you can see them. Yeah, yeah. Mary Hesmas. Now let's go to the next room here. Let's go to the next room. Now, you are welcome to the room of the first teacher called Mr. Gladius Phillips. You can see it written here. Mr. Gladius Phillips, uh, 1845 to 1868. The name of the first primary school in Nigeria was St. Thomas Primary School, established 1845 with 40 men. Hmm. With 40 men. So this is a photograph of the first teacher in Nigeria? Yeah, this is the first teacher in Nigeria. Now, let's look at the picture here. Look at this picture. The picture of the teacher called Mr. Claudio uh, Phillips. Huh? This picture of uh, Harry Townsend, and this picture of uh, C.A. Goma, and this picture of uh, Samuel Ajayi Crowder. Crowder. Now, this is the picture of the school. Because the school started with a remit of 40 men. 40 men. And the school was founded in 1843. That was the year the school was founded initially. 1843, that was the year the school was founded. And the name of the school there was Nursery of Infant Church. That was the name of the school in 1843. Three. Now, why in 1845, the school was later moved to its permanent site in 1845 and was renamed St. Thomas Primary School. Uh, where? Here in, here in Badagri. Here at the back of Mobi Philly Station. Okay. That's where the school was up, located. Up, now, up, 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 up to today. Up to today. Yes, up to today. Now, this school, so we were to 40 men. The issue shows us that the, the, the oldest, I the student was 45 years old. Ah, ah. 45 years old, that was the oldest. Why the youngest, I wonder, was 40 years old. Wow, so 40, 40 to 45. 45. And they spent 12 years in this primary school. Wow. 12 years in this primary school. Learning. And this is the room of the first teacher. Learning, by, learning how to speak English. How, how, to, how to speak English, how to write, and how to know the Bible, the scripture. Okay, Bible yeah. particularly. Okay. Now, this is the cost estimate. That was used to be the story building. 335 pounds wow. was used to be the story building according to the C. A. Goma. That was the account that he gave. And here we have a special drawing uh, of the first story building premises. That's the thing where I can see the first story building yeah. premises. This is the architectural uh, design. Uh, yes. No, this one is just, this one is garden. This one is rice garden and vegetable garden. Now, in the middle, look, let's go to this side here. Okay, I've seen it here. Yeah, come to this side. Come, let's, we'll see clearly here. Yeah, come here. This is the map. Okay. Now, here, we have the post building in the middle. Yeah. Now, here, we have the church. This is the church over here. Okay. Now, these ones are garden. And this is the whole map of what we can see in the purpose of post building yeah. as at 1843. Okay. And, and this is the... Uh, yes, the that's the water over there. This one is the water. And this one is the street. This is the street over here. Oh. And here is water. Because this place was extended to the water side. Yeah. And that is why you are seeing the, the structure here. Now let's go up so you can see the Bible upstairs. Now here we have the college attended by Samuel Ajayi Crowder called Farabi College, Afraid Town, Sierra Leone. This college you are seeing was established in February 1827 as an Anglican missionary school. And Samuel Crowder was the first student to enroll at Furabi College. Oh. 
Now, this is the Bible that he interpreted from English language to Yoruba language. By Ajayi uh, Ajay Crowder. Crowder. Yes. White Thompson was coming here, he came with this English language, and Ajay Crowder assisted this story building and interpreted it to Yoruba yeah. language. Yeah. You have seen the Yoruba and you have seen the English. The first English and the first Yoruba Bible. Okay. okay. And this English you are seeing here, this year it will be 182 years. The English. Yeah. Why the Yoruba will be 179 years. Hmm. Three years different. And here we have. So it, it took him three years to. Yes, to interpret it. Oh. Now, this is a man called Samuel Ajay Crowder. He was captured when he was 12 years old as a slave from Oshogun down to Badagri here. Yeah. And Crowder was all about him as a slave. Yeah. Now, he was the first African bishop. He translated the English Bible into Yoruba inside the first building here and also played the role of an interpreter. Yeah, he he also interprets yeah, to, to, to the community. Yeah, to the community. Yeah, that you can see the Bible, they are also interpreted. Okay. Now let's go to the next room. Now, this is the missionary roles in abolition of slave trade. Now, in our faith, which we have here on to set our hands and seal at Padagwe this 18th day of March, 1852. That was the year slavery ended in Nigeria. There are no more slavery again in Nigeria. Okay. And it was witnessed by Chief Mewu and Alakpa. And also we have the missionaries that witnessed it, Reverend C.A. Goma, church missionary, and J. Martins, uh, also missionaries. Now let's see the picture of the missionaries that came to Badagui. And this is the picture of Reverend Thomas Bafrima. Thomas Bafrima, who was the man who saw the seed of Christianity in Nigeria yeah. from Wesley Church, that's Methodist Church. Yeah. Now, this is Reverend Henry Townsend from CMS, hmm. from CMS Church. He came in December 17, while Thomas Bafrima came in September 24. Hmm. And this is the picture of Reverend C.A. Goldman. C means Charles, Y.A. Andrew. That means Reverend Charles um, Andrew, Andrew Goldman. He was in charge of the construction of the story building, building here. Now, we are, here we are now, where there's the church. There's the first and CMS church. There's the building, the picture of the building. Although the, the building have already collapsed because it was uh, built with wood. It, it was built here or? Yes, it was built in this church, this okay. compound here. Okay. And it was built by Hintown Saint in 1843. And this is the picture of the church you are seeing. Oh. And where they sit here, 1878. This seat you are seeing, this seat is 146 years. Wow. This seat you are seeing. Who, like, for, for the members or for the... For the uh, no, it was, it was found here after the missionary left. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It was found in this uh, compound here. Wow. Now, would you like to sit on it? Mm, let me try, sure. Why not? Thank no, you. don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So, you show your fans that you, you are sitting on the first seat. Guys, I'm sitting on the, on the historical chair where few... Got the seats. In fact, this is the seat where Christianity is founded in Nigeria. This is one of the seats. So I'm sitting on, 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 on the chair of the, on one of the chairs of the Christianity that in Africa. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me. Let me, let me. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. We don't hang the chair. This is one of the chairs that brought Christianity to uh, Christianity. Now you can see here. Now there we have a little cemetery. This is a cemetery where the missionaries were being buried. And that's where the wife of Reverend C. Goma was buried. Here in Madagri too. Here in Madagri too. Let's go. Now here we have the safe. Look at the safe here, 1856. What's, like what do you see? They're saving their valuable items, including their money. Okay. Was, well, they saved them here. Now here we have the first money called calories. Yeah. This is the first money called calories. Yeah. And also we have one penny. There's one penny. And you back call it called body home. You back call it called body home. Yeah. That was you back call it called body home. And also we have uh, this one is fifty. This is a fifty cover. This fifty cover. This one is a ten cover. This ten cover. And also we have this one is one cover. Okay. This one cover. Uh, Bob. Okay. This one is one pounds. One pounds. Yeah. This one pounds. Okay. And also we have uh, chilies. Look at this chilies. This one chilies. 
And again, we have uh, the notes. Ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Because this one is one vanilla notes. You can see them. Ah, uh, this all this one that one vanilla notes. This is my, my first time seeing one vanilla note. Eh. Hey. Um, oh, this is one vanilla note. note. Now we have uh, this one is five nera notes. Yeah, I saw this one. Okay, this one is twenty nera notes. I saw this one growing up too. Okay, this one is all, that's fifteen nera notes. Ah, okay, look at fifteen nera notes. Now this one is uh, five nera. Five nera. Yes, that's five nera. Central Bank of Nigeria. Five okay. nera. Like which year was this? This one is a uh, nineteen. I know. I know. Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty three. I know. See, I don't know This one is a cobble. Fifty cobble. Fifty cobble. Yeah, wow. I know. I get to see this. That's 50 cobo. 50 cobo. That is the 50 cobo. <laughs> we, are, we are Gen Z, probably Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now we are going downstairs to just see the well now. Okay. The well was dug by CMS 1842. As in this well has been dug, it has not dried since then. It has not dried since then. It is very clean water, odorless, colorless, and tasteless. This is where we will end the video for today. Please ensure you subscribe and follow the one showing next on your screen. Love you guys. You're your boy, OZ.